Today, I want to give you a quick recap of the USCCA 2021 Concealed Carry and Home Defense Expo that was recently held in Fort Worth, Texas. So, let's go. What's up, crew? It's Chris with CloverTac, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here on CloverTac, we talk about all things firearm related. So if you're into that sort of thing, jump down and smash that subscribe button below while you're down there. If you want to stay up to date on all the new content, well, go ahead and click that notification bell as well. Before we dive in, it's worth noting that this was the first time that I have attended a USCCA Concealed Carry and Home Defense Expo. Now, obviously, I attended this show as media so stick around to the end of the video for some of my specific thoughts from a creator perspective now the uscca does a really great job at promoting education and one of the first things that jumped out to me when i walked into the expo was the number of seminars that were available all weekend long once I walked onto the show floor, it was pretty obvious that the uh, Concealed Carry and Home Defense Expo was much smaller than other trade shows that I've attended. This makes a lot of sense, seeing as how the Expo was about Concealed Carry and Home Defense. On the floor, there was a lot of smaller Concealed Carry type handguns, safe, holsters, and other accessories of the self-defense type nature. If you're looking for hunting stuff, competition stuff, things like that, well, this show's probably not for you. But if you are into self-defense, then the Concealed Carry and Home Defense Expo is right up your alley. Walking around the show floor, I noticed there were several stages set up where speakers would take turns talking about the various self-defense topics. Along with these stages, there seemed to be a very heavy USCCA presence on the show floor, including a swag store and a booth where you could have a custom cap made. This USCCA presence, not really shocking considering that the Concealed Carry and Home Defense Expo is, after all, their yearly event. I was able to get a few moments with Kevin from USCCA to talk about the organization, the expo, and other projects that the USCCA is involved in. That video is up on the channel now, so check that out a little later on if you would like. There seemed to be a healthy mix of industry at this event, both large and small companies. Some of the larger companies uh, with booths included names like SIG, HK, Mossberg, Walther, Daniel Defense, uh, and obviously more. I personally enjoy trade show time with smaller companies, and while I did run into some of our friends like Medieval Industries and Axel Hearing Performance, I had the opportunity to meet quite a few smaller companies that are sort of new to the scene, like Handle It Grips and others. Now, women who carry firearms for self-defense has been a fast-growing demographic, so I would have liked to see a little more for them than what I did. While a lot of the booths obviously did have stuff for women, I only noticed a few booths that were offering gear 100% specifically designed for women. Before we get to the creator side of things, if you have any questions about my experience at this expo that I have not covered in this video, be sure to drop those down in the comments below. Now, as promised, let's talk about the Concealed Carry and Home Defense Expo from a creator's perspective. I do think this could be a very good event for newer or smaller creators to attend. The registration is pretty simple, laid back, and the USCCA is super accommodating to those that attend this event as media. As far as my experience on the show floor itself, I gotta say it was fairly pleasant. This is an event where you'll have to deal with the public, but unlike some shows, I found the public here to be a little more polite, a little easier to deal with from that media perspective. Now, the companies at this show that had booths, well, they were also very accommodating to media. Actually, the smaller companies, probably more so than the larger ones. And this may be because it's such a specialized type show dealing, obviously, with concealed carry and home defense. But regardless, having companies willing and wanting to talk with creators is an excellent thing and an opportunity that could greatly benefit smaller or newer creators. So there you go, crew. That is my recap of my very first USCCA Concealed Carry and Home Defense Expo. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.